Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tuesday Smart Tips and Tools for Your Online Biz. I'm Karen May D and you can find me at socialmediamarketinggirl.com. So every Tuesday you'll be learning an actionable tip or a how-to video on how to use some awesome tools online to run your biz smoothly. So let's get started in today's video. So this might seem too technical, but actually it's very easy to set up. So right now we are on WordPress.org and we will be downloading the Facebook for WordPress plugin. So on your browser, type WordPress.org slash extend slash plugins slash Facebook. So it's easier that way. And let's download the Facebook for WordPress plugin by clicking on the download version 1.0 and save it to your computer and open your WordPress website so this is the dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new so what we will do is we will upload the Facebook plugin we have just downloaded and choose the file and look for the zip file and install your plugin. Once a plugin has been installed successfully, activate the plugin and you must configure the pl plugin to enable Facebook for WordPress. So on the left side, you will see the Facebook um, plugin. So click on Facebook and this actually has step-by-step -step instructions on how you can uh, use this plugin. So the first step is to create an app. And we want to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps and click on create new app. Let's give this app a name. sample WordPress blog and add a namespace and make sure that uh, the app space app namespace is available okay since it's available then click on continue mm -hmm. okay so we're ready to create our app and what we need to enter are these details so first um, you need to enter your site domain and so sorry we want to enter the domain wherein we are installing the Facebook for WordPress plugin okay and so this is my dummy site for uh, this tutorial category just pick um, and category so I choose business and next step is to generate a URL through uh, one of their partners so we'll get one and next okay create okay so this has been set up so Let's go back to our app and this has generated uh, the hosting URL needed for our application right here. And the next step is to select how your app integrates with Facebook. And you have a couple of choices here. Uh, what we need uh, is the app on facebook.com. And what we, we will be um, changing this 
to the link to our blog. Okay. Then enter your website. And save changes. Okay, so you're actually done here. And don't close this um, application yet and go back to your blog. Step three is to enter your app ID. So let's go back here. And this is your app ID right here. Copy this and paste. Okay, your app secret. This is the app secret. Copy and paste in your app namespace. So this is your namespace. Okay. then save changes so your settings have been saved and you now have access to all these um, widgets for your blog okay then you can choose uh, whether you want all these social plugins to appear on your website and Let's start off with the social publisher. So the social publisher allows you to publish to an author's Facebook timeline and fan page. Most especially if you have guest authors on your fan page, this will uh, come in handy. Then we will link our Facebook account to the WordPress account to enable this. Okay, so log in with Facebook and allow give this a uh, plugin permission to manage the pages okay it just does that and select your fan page or click on mentions show on home page so what happens is the author can mention Facebook friends and pages in a WordPress post so how cool is that so if you enable this this will show the mention on the home page as part of the post and page reviews okay so if you also want to sh um, the like button to show the subscribe send button to show you can just click on these boxes so what I want is to show um, the comments box after each post as well as a recommendations bar so it allows users to click to start getting recommendations like content and add what they're reading to timeline as they go so save changes and you're all set so this is how it looks like on my blog so as you can see I have this recommendations bar at the right side of every post and what happens is when people read your blog post it, they will be given some recommendations on um, what posts have been liked by uh, Facebook users so they are suggested with two um, blog posts and once they click on like this will show up on their Facebook page if you love this video then you will love my free weekly social media coaching just pop over to socialmediamarketinggirl.com and this social media coaching is designed especially for women service based professionals and some cool men too of course and keep in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter and I'll see you next week Thank you.